Welcome back to our channel. We're Alex and Morgan, best friends who love wine. We decided to start the weekly wind down so that we could share our passion with you. We hope that you enjoy. Cheers! They are so different from each other. <laughs> what's your favorite part? <laughs> of this one? Yeah. Or the first one? Um, what's your favorite part of this one? Um, well, I agree. It's super balanced. And it is so smooth. I could chug this thing. So. <laughs> I mean, look at that color. That's like gorgeous. So. And this is super cute. Look at that. Oh, it's real nice. And then these cracker seasoning is literally the best part of this really entire is. wine tasting. And find these wherever you can. Oh. We'll have to we'll have to send you a link about this because it's to die for. Mm -hmm. We're doing a tasting flight, and this is our second. Ooh. Yeah. This we will tag where they're each from. This is much more balanced. Um, I'm getting getting a lot of really, really strong red red fruits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said, Mark, keep in mind, you were in red. I love this one. I support it. And what was our first one? We forgot to film it, but it was lightly chilled, it was a right? Lightly chilled Pinot Noir. I'll have to get the name of it, but it was wonderful. It was actually one of my favorites that I think I've ever had as far as Pinots go. And the chill was perfect. I I don't normally chill Pinot Noirs, but it was really nice. Like, I just yeah. loved it. It was a perfect porch pounder. And it was great for a warmer day. It almost reminded me a little bit of like a Zinfandel in a, in a weird way. It's just like the flavor profile. So loved it. It was fantastic. But this is really nice too. I'll we'll get all the names of these for you. Yes. Little flight taste. Yeah, I get flight taste. Flight <laughs> Okay, Morgan, what do you think about this third, the county line? Yeah. Sonoma. Yeah, Sonoma. Um, it is really good. Um, super heavy. Yeah, it's full body for, <laughs> for sure. For being a Pinot. Um, mm -hmm. But Alex and I were just saying it's almost carbonated, which is very interesting. Yeah. But really good. I think it feels uncarbonated in the mouth because it's unfiltered. Mm -hmm. I don't actually know. I don't know that I've ever had an unfiltered wine. Yeah. Have you? Uh, not that I, it, not that I was aware of. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> trying it. Yes. Um, I. Man, this one is so good. Yeah, it's super nice. I definitely nice. like this more than the last one. Mm -hmm. um, more than the first? Not more. I like them for different reasons because okay. the first is such an easy drinker. Mm, um, okay. And I really think that that lightly chilled aspect of it um, and, and pulling the grapes early um, oh, and yeah. harvesting them early. This one is just like, man, I, I don't even know how to describe it. What would you say? It gives me like very zen vibes. Mm -hmm. kind of like spicy in mm -hmm. a way, which I've had spicy people noirs before so like spicy in a good way to like black pepper um it's very like it's big it hits you on the hits you on the nose like immediately and you're just like whoa this is, this is great so let's see real big mouthfeel mm -hmm. i don't get a lot of cabs but I could see how maybe I could see how because maybe it's some more black it. fruits yeah, yeah. than red fruits. Yeah, so yeah. maybe that's why. Yeah, definitely. That's definitely why. Um, I I really like this a lot. This reminds me of something that I would want to put into my wine fridge and just leave it there for a couple of years and see what magic happens within the bottle. Yes. I'm loving this. I feel like this is definitely one of those wines that would be perfect with pretty much any kind of cheese. Like I know we said that a lot, but this one's really, really, mm, it's it's a really good, it's more full. It's a little bit fuller body. It's not, not a full body, but it's a fuller body than most Pinot Noirs and I'm digging it. So this is a great one. Can you repeat? It's a little loud I out here. I feel like I'm drinking dirt. Okay. Good dirt. Good dirt. You know. I love dirt. I don't know the mouthfeel of it. It's just so, to me, it's it's almost grainy because of what they've done. Oh, I get grain too. Like 100% get grain. 
It's very, um, to me, it's extremely dry on the finish. How about you? Yes. I definitely, once it goes down and you give it like a couple seconds, because I get fruit up yes. front. Super and all fruity. of a sudden I'm like, oh my gosh, my mouth is dry. <laughs> it's water. Yes. It's good. It, it's interesting. It's yeah. very different. Yeah. And this was. Si what? It's a um, Siberian thing. I peanut know peanut peanut There's peanut something with teas in it. I don't know. <laughs> it was very interesting. And this one was this Sonoma or no? What, well, one? it's Siberian, but like Sonoma. Uh, no, I think it was. It's um, aged. Oh, just aged. Well, aged in Siberia too. So yes. I think yeah. I think the whole process. So they're like transporting it like back and forth. Yeah, I guess. This is weird because who's heard of Siberian peanut? Nope, not me. <laughs> not me at all. What do you think about it? To me, it has some acidity. Yes. It's very, like I said, super dry. Like, yeah, on the finish, it's like real dry. To me, it's pretty big body, but like the thing is, like, is the color. Like, yeah. It doesn't even look like a Pinot Noir at all. Let me get into that guy. Get into it. Get in. Get in there. Get very in. weird. <laughs> but I like it. To me, it's like very tobacco-y and like tobacco leaves or like some beautiful tobacco leaves. And then it's got a little smoke to it. Yeah, it's very smoky. Yeah, it's very earthy, very smoky. I feel like I'm tasting dirt now, but like in a good way. The best of the dirt. Only the best here. Yeah. Only the best. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Okay, these are our last little cutie cute uh, little crackers, oyster crackers. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> We just got brought a taster of a white blend, and Morgan had the best description I've ever heard in my life. So it smells like a Chardonnay, but it smells like a lemon drop Chardonnay. But Morgan, what do you think? Um, it tastes exactly like a combination of Chardonnay and Moscato. She hit it dead, <laughs> like on the head, like on the freaking head. Hit it like, whoop, I don't even know. It's a literal lemon drop in a glass. <laughs> but we like it, but we hate it. But we like it. But we like it. But we hate it. But we love it. We'll drink it. <laughs>